eight Labour MPs have already quit this week. Ian Austin is now the ninth. After three decades as a Labour Party member, today he said he'd had enough. Well, this has been the most difficult decision I've ever had to take. But the truth is I'm ashamed of the Labour Party and I'm ashamed of the position the Labour Party has got itself into under Jeremy Corbyn. I grew up here in Dudley listening to my dad, a Holocaust refugee, telling me about the evils of racism and prejudice and hatred. And, that, and, and to fight racism was a big part of me joining the Labour Party as a teenager 35 years ago. And I would never have believed that I'd be leaving the Labour Party today because of racism as well. Unlike the other Labour defectors, he supports Brexit and says he has no plans to join the newly formed independent group. I agree with them that the Labour Party is broken and I agree with them that our political system needs to change, but that's not what this decision is about today. Elected MP for Dudley North in 2005, he was an advisor to Gordon Brown and became a close ally of the former Prime Minister. Today, Labour's deputy leader, Tom Watson, tweeted, very sad to lose another colleague from the Labour team. Labour say they regret that Ian Austin has left the party, but they say he was elected as a Labour MP. And the democratic thing now is to resign his seat and let the people of Dudley decide who should represent them. On a trip to Spain today, this was Jeremy Corbyn's response. I'm sorry he's decided to take that course of action. He was elected, like me, in 2017 at the general election on a manifesto that pledged to deal with poverty, injustice and inequality in Britain. Ian Austin says the Labour leader has failed to tackle anti-Semitism within the party. He is the ninth to go, but the concern for Jeremy Corbyn is he may not be the last. Leila Hayes, 5 News.